As Mrs. is a few things we all have in common. Lots of laundry to fold, not enough time, and a desire for a fit body. But what if I told you it's all that cleaning you do, you can use those rags for an insanely good workout. All you need is two rags, a slick floor, and eight minutes. I'm gonna get these lazy bitches to work out. So we got our rags ready and a slippery floor. Let's start with alternating lunges, right leg back, and then center, and then left. Making sure that your knee doesn't go past your toes and always pulling your abs up to lift you. Are they not liking it? Good. Like it. Seven more. And then really reach back and bend, make sure your knee is, again, do not go over your toes. You don't want to hurt your knees. Five more on each side. And four more. Pulling your abs in is really important for you don't just put pressure on your joints. And don't rush it. Do it at your own pace. If 10 is not for today, just make that your goal. Not two more each side. And last one. Good. Now you're gonna bend your left leg. We call this a skate or hinge forward. You send your right leg out and then slide your other leg in. You're doing it, ladies. Eight more. I swear you this is my new favorite type of workout because it's great cardio. You feel everything toning and tightening, and it takes a very short time. Are you guys working out back there? Yeah, we Three more, and two, and one. Now we're reaching out to the diagonal, reach it back and then in. Just think, Colette, will take care of that mom's butt for you. And seven more. Yes, Colette, I'll see you again. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> and three. Two, and one. All right, so the arms add a little bit of a cardio to it. So you're gonna reach it out to the side and back for five. You don't have to do the arms. Mine may be a little bit exaggerated, but I find it helps with my balance. And again, it adds cardio, so I'm in for it. Good, two more. <laughs> Should I say that they're not fitness instructors in any way or really worked out? So um, try to follow my form, but they're there to cheer you on. All right, other side, bend your right knee, left leg goes out to the side, and then you bring it in, and out, and then you have eight more. How are you doing there, Colette? Excellent. Do you think it's me? Because I know you've got this, Chel. Good, and four more, and three, and two, and one, reach out to diagonal and bring it in. So we really do all have eight minutes, whether it's right before you take a shower in the morning, waking up earlier than your kids, or at the end of the night, or maybe when you're doing laundry and the kids are sleeping. That does happen sometimes. Or they're at school. So the last one, we're gonna bring it together for five out, and then back. And four. How sore are we? And three. That's the point. And two. Not so sore you can't walk, but sore enough to feel good about yourself and know that you did something for your booty. Good job, come back. Now we're gonna go into a plank position, making sure you bring your shoulders over your wrists. If you have wrist issues, go down into your forearms or skip this part. So shoulders over your wrists. We're doing what they call mountain climbers. So you bring your right knee into your chest, and then your left. And then right, and then touch the leg. And then you do mountain climbers. I'm not a CrossFit girl, so I don't know. Good. Five more on each side. And four, four, three, three, two, two, and one. One, extend your legs out. Again, take any breaks you need to. Bring your right knee to your wrist and straighten out and left. The other good alternative is if you do feel kind of weak wrist, you could always put a pad under like a yoga pad and that will help as well. Good. <laughs> then you just gotta build up. <laughs> you gotta build up to it. So do five today, six tomorrow, and hopefully eventually you'll get to your goal number. Good, let's do four more on each side. Picking up the pace. And three, three, two, two, one, one. Good, we're all gonna go to our forearms. Pulling your chest away from the floor. You're gonna open your legs, you're gonna find a squeeze. And open and squeeze. It's just eight minutes of your day. You feel so much better about yourself. Good, five more. And four, it's one of my favorite ones. Three, two, and one. Good, bend your knees in. Back to standing, ladies. Stand on up. Can I get you working out a little bit? But isn't it good? Don't you feel hot? Yes. 
Alright guys, this is my favorite combo coming up. So now we're going to um, bang your right leg for your lunges. You're going to go back, abs in, come up. If you do have knee issues and you find yourself knee hurting, skip this or make sure your knee doesn't pass your toes. Good. Six more. You don't have to do the arms. I like doing the arms. Good. Four more. And three. I feel like nothing. I knew that. Two more, but you guys are at home doing it and you will be more ready in a bikini this next summer. <laughs> now they're moving. Okay, now we're going to cross. You're going to cross your leg, bending your left leg. You'll fall like me. And center. So you cross and center, making sure to really bend your forward leg and then pull your abs into center. And square. Six more. Oh, Colette, I'm impressed. Five. This one is great for rounding your bottom and creating that bubble butt that we lost a while back. Good, three more. Woo! If I did extra, sorry. Give you a little bonus number or you can correct me and move on. Good, all right, so now we're gonna bring the combo together. You're gonna go back, together, cross, together. Good, four more like this. <laughs> and three. Ah, you have two, don't do that. And two, also make sure that you're not rushing through these movements. Go at your own pace, so I don't want you guys to get hurt. <laughs> Another side, 10 on the other side. All right, guys, go back. Pull your abs into center. And nine. But you can't tell me that nobody here does not have eight minutes a day to work out. You do. And if you have carpet at home, you can use this as well on um, with paper plates. Five more. No excuses. Four. And three. And two. One, good, two things that and cross for 10 and bring it in. Oh, P, nine, pain, pain, eight. I was like, pain, you pee a lot after a baby, anything you do. Good, five more. And four, and three, but you guys are still doing it, that's good news. Two, and one. Now we bring it all together. You're gonna go back, in, Cross, together, back, woo, in, and cross. Okay, we have three more. Does it matter how deep the lunges is just starting? No, not at all. Do what you feel good to your body, and I just really want to make sure that you pick your knees. And last one. And that. Yeah, so slow down, and, and, and don't try to catch step with us, or with me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go down into all fours again. Shoulders over your wrist. If this one's too much for you, on your wrist, go to your forearms and just open and close your legs. Set and I, we're piking it up. You're going to pike your legs up, pull your abs in, and then reach it out. Pike up and reach. Ooh, good job, Chels. What? Well, she. <laughs> and five. And four. Reach it out. This is going to be your last thing. We're going to mountain climbers for 10. 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5 more on each side. And 4, and 3, and 2, and 1. Good job. And then in. Sit on down. I got my first sweat off with my bride. Thank you so much for working out with us. Hope you found a new way to add working out into your busy days. Thank you.